guys, Adam from PMA Gaming. Just wanted to bring you a couple of videos um, on more Combat X. Um, first in the series that I'm doing. I've been playing more Combat since the first one, really on my SNES. So I figured uh, we do some gameplay. As you can see, you've got variations to choose from now. Change the style and appearance of the fighters, so it keeps it interesting, even though the roster is pretty big already. Um, I'm just going to do some Reading. fights. And look at all the different players fight to do this. Uh, I'm going to keep it on easy and try and shove off the characters a bit more than they would do normally. From what I can tell, um, the difficulty doesn't really change the action, it just changes uh, the amount of damage you can take, really. So, still stays interesting, still staying on the offensive, so it should be good. Um, Such promise wasted. My life ended through treachery. With fortitude, you could begin anew. Round one. Fire. All the openings are all interactive. Um, they all mean something. It's not uh, lines. They seem to talk to each other at the beginning. Of the backgrounds um, are all interactive. They've all got their own different areas. Areas of interactive there. Just so, sort of blinking in the background there, the barrels, wild cats or vandals. X rays um, still in it, um, just as easy to use. Uh, that bar fills and starts flashing two triggers and the bar for it. Got all your normal sort of favourite moves as well, so you've got the teleport there. Um, classic, get over here. I mean, the, the game looks amazing, you can see that pretty much from the get go. Lots of changes since Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, some good, some not so good in my opinion. Uh, the fighters seem a lot heavier, seem a lot slower than Mortal Kombat 9. May not show like it when you're watching this gameplay, but they are. They do feel a lot heavier. It's nice that the characters have the same voices as well. They do have the same voices. Fatality is first in the series. Oh, they just get worse and worse. This is awesome. Uh, so I'm going to keep a few matches coming, different characters, commentary. Uh, let me know what you think. We'll move on to the next match now. Okay, so uh, looking at round two now. Um, I'm going to use Johnny Cage. As you can see, he's got his own variations as well. Um, all very appropriate to his character and who he is and what he's about. Um, who should we put him against? Uh, mm. Yeah, we'll do Quan Chi. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep it easy because I want to try and showcase as much of the moves as possible. Um, I don't want to give it all away. Call me. <laughs> the difference between the the new Johnny Cage, as it were, is that they've changed his voice, which um, seems a lot more gritty, a lot more fluid. I like it. it makes sense. So. Uh, I have found you, Johnny Cage. Did you bring cupcakes? No. Dead. Round one. So I like these openings, they're interactive, they're, they're you know, really talking to each other and you know, having a little back and forth, which is really cool, I like that. Nothing worse than having two statements that make no sense whatsoever. So as you can see here, uh, you've still got Shadow Kick. Uh, everything you'd expect from Johnny Cage. He looks older, which is cool. I think they, you know, they need to keep that, uh, especially with introducing his sister into the series now. Uh, sorry, his, his daughter into the series now. He's still got Sonya in the mix as well. Backgrounds are again awesome. Fantastic water effect there. The sea bobbing in the water. Again, interactive areas. See the corpses. You can pretty much grab those and throw them at your opponent at will. X-rays and fatalities have changed as well for these guys, which is awesome. 
Uh, slight changes, I suppose, on what they used to be. Uh, X-ray time. You will obey. The same moves from Quan Chi. Little, little variation there. Here we go, finish the time. Here's <laughs> Johnny. There we go, another quality finisher. One of the more subtle ones. <laughs> um so for this video I'm probably gonna do one more fight. So um let's get into the next fight. Okay, so this is the last match I'm probably gonna do for this video now, so we've all used some new characters. Um, so straight in with Terra 4 and um, Ferra for uh, We'll go with Cassie Cage as well. So cool interactive beginnings all the way through, especially just before the start of the match as well. Um, they seem to fit quite well. Um, they don't seem out of place. Ferra, Tor. Crush you, skinny! Flattery will get you nowhere. And again, interactive again is pretty sweet. So when you look at the variations for Ferrator, um, you either have the little <laughs> little kid on the back or not, basically on some of them, and she makes up most of your moves. Like you throw her around um, without her on this variation. Obviously, I'm not really doing much throwing around apart from that. Again, Cassie has a, a nice mix of Sonya's agility and some of Johnny Cage's flashier moves. She's a good mix of the two as well, sort of special forces with a bit of ego. Good mix, good characters. Ferrator's very much like, um, reminds me of Resident Evil, a lot of the hooded characters. A lot of mystery with him at the minute. Let's get into the X-ray. I'm really impressed with this game. It looks beautiful. It's really good. So the characters have been fought through. They look like they're meant to be there. So far, I've, I've, I've not found anything I don't like. Apart from it, it may not look it, but it does feel a lot slower than the other Mortal Kombat's. So I'll give you another fatality. Last one for this uh, video, I think. Now. And they did promise us more gore and they haven't let us down. Um, so I'm going to start looking at working on a, another video now. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Um, I'll keep them coming during the days. Obviously it's still early on in the launch so please let me know what you think. Um, I'm pretty much answer straight away so yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching.